Actress Anne Heche has passed away a week after she was critically injured in a devastating car crash. While many hoped the 53-year-old mother of two would recover, she had a severe brain injury that put her in a coma and on life support. Born in Ohio to a struggling family, Anne had made a name for herself in Hollywood and her success allowed her to own some stunning homes over the years. In 2021, she sold a stylish home in Silver Lake, Los Angeles, and prior to that, she offloaded two more of her homes, a $3.1 million villa-style property between Hollywood and Hancock Park, as well as a waterside cottage in the woods of Lake Arrow. Head, California. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Many were hopeful that actress Anne Heche would make a recovery when she was reported in stable condition after a tragic car crash last week, in which she drove her car into a Los Angeles home and the vehicle was engulfed in flames. In the process, the home also caught fire, but the homeowner was able to escape with her two dogs and her pet turtle safely. While Anne was cut free of the wreckage by firefighters and was speaking with them before being taken to the hospital, she suffered a severe brain injury that was ultimately deadly. A week after the accident, it was reported that her family had pulled her off of life support. Anne always wanted to donate her organs, so being kept on life support helped the doctors make that happen. Anne Heche was born in Ohio to a struggling family with five children that moved often, even once living in an Amish community. She started to act right after high school with a gig portraying twins. Vicky and Marley on the soap opera Another World from 1987 to 1991. Later on, Anne came to prominence with roles in films like Donnie Brasco, I Know What You Did Last Summer, and more. Not to mention, she later starred on more TV shows, including the comedy drama Men in Trees. Anne is survived by her two sons, Homer and Atlas, who she shares with her exes, Coley LaFoon and James Tupper. Over the years, Anne has remained living in the Los Angeles area, and some of her former homes were located in areas such as Hollywood and Silver Lake. Hey guys, it's Kara back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment in this one, checking out where Anne Heche formerly called home. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram if you want to chat. And now let's get into this video. In 2019, one of Anne's former homes was put on the market for $3.95 million, which was her one-time marital home she shared with her ex, James Tupper. The couple announced the end of their 10-year marriage over a year before selling the property, and it was said that they were renting the home out for a couple of years before selling it as a high-end rental with prices ranging from $14,500 to $18,000 per month. Located on a tree-lined street in a neighborhood beside the desirable Hancock Park in Hollywood, Los Angeles. This two-floor Tuscan-inspired villa was built in 2009 and offered about 4,700 square feet of space inside. The property had secure gates out front along with a high hedge for privacy, and Anne and her ex had decorated the interiors with a bohemian glam style throughout. This included touches like exotic light fixtures, patterned vintage rugs, and more. There were five beds and five baths throughout, as well as common rooms like a formal living room with a wood burning fireplace and a nearby dining room. These public spaces also had inviting archways leading to the other spaces while the upscale kitchen was combined with a double height great room with wood planked cathedral ceiling overhead. This dramatic great room also had a carved stone fireplace, a Juliet balcony and French doors to the yard while the kitchen had marble counters, an Eden center island and top grade appliances. Other nearby features included a butler's pantry with wine fridge and ice maker, a den media lounge, and an office with ensuite bath on the main floor. Basically, Anne's former home was full of character with its wood-beamed ceilings and eclectic decoration, a theme that continued to be in the sleeping quarters. Guest and family rooms were upstairs and offered high-beamed ceilings, spacious closets, and personal Juliet balconies, while the large master suite had a beamed and vaulted ceiling along with three closets, including a walk-in and a marble ensuite bath with steam shower 
shower and soaking tub. The exterior of Anne's former home had a shaded and arched patio with stone tiles underfoot. There was also a dining terrace with sunken lounge area and massive outdoor stone fireplace. The backyard was petite, but still boasted a 30 foot long swimming pool with an open air cabana beside it. In the end, Anne and James sold the home for $3.16 million, which was lower than the original asking price, but a lot more than the $1.85 million they paid back in 2009. In 2020, Anne also sold a lakefront getaway property she owned in Lake Arrowhead, California for $1 million. Tucked away in the San Bernardino Mountains and surrounded by lush forests, Anne and her ex had purchased this rustic retreat for $899,000 in 2013, and it was built in 1956. The floor plan of the cabin spans a modest 1,440 square feet of space along with three bedrooms, two baths, and a few living spaces. The vintage interiors have vaulted ceilings and pine siding, as well as views out to the stunning lake. The main living area or great room boasts an original floor-to-ceiling stone fireplace to keep things cozy, along with an airy loft just above it, which could serve as a guest room or bonus space. The open floor plan also has a kitchen, which is pretty compact but offers all the essentials and has been newly updated with modern appliances and fresh paint. The dining area of the home is next to the galley kitchen, and this space also boasts a pass-through bar. The master bedroom featured sliding glass doors out to a terrace that overlooked the lake as well as an ensuite bath. Anne's former lake property also came with a single slip boat dock in deep water, but there's also a nearby lakeside patio making a perfect space to enjoy time on the water. There's even a wraparound deck on the house for additional living and outdoor entertaining space. While it's located about 1.5 hours from Los Angeles, a trail right below the property leads to the village, which is the local spot for dining, shopping, and entertainment. Most recently, Anne had sold another property in summer 2021, this time in the Silver Lake area of Los Angeles. When she was with actor Thomas Jane, and right around the time Anne sold the two properties we just looked at, the pair grabbed a stylish storybook English Tudor home in the trendy Silver Lake for $1.9 million. Silver Lake is an area that just screams hipster, boasting eccentric blocks with fancy coffee shops, vegan cafes, indie music venues, and much more. There's a reservoir as well that gives the neighborhood its name, which offers a popular walking trail, meadow, and a dog park. Well, it seems Anne and Thomas didn't stay here for long, because after just over a year, they flipped the 2,100 square foot house back on the market for nearly $2 million. This home was built in 1926, but had been renovated with fashionable and modern interiors to the owners before Anne and included details like pricey herringbone wood floors and an open floor plan, as well as four bedrooms and four bathrooms throughout. Walking up to the home, there's charming and petite front porch along with a lush and manicured garden. The living room offers stylish black paint windows, while the main attraction in this room is the contemporary concrete fireplace on one wall. The high-end kitchen wasn't large, but it offered stunning light fixtures, a wood center island, and top of the line appliances, not to mention it opened via glass doors out onto an elevated patio. Then the dining area which was attached to the space had an arched and built-in buffet to one side. The main level offered most of the bedrooms and two of the baths, which included the master suite, boasted a large arched window, vaulted and beamed ceilings, and doors out to the deck. On the lower level of the Silver Lake abode, you'd find the fourth bedroom, along with some more bathrooms and a family room or media lounge with built-in ceiling speakers for an at-the-cinema experience. Moving out onto the grounds, the yard had patio space to dine al fresco and entertain along with a pizza oven. But what might be the coolest highlight back here was an 18-foot long meditation pavilion made out of glass. Inside this structure, it had been decorated with a zen and boho design, as as well as features like draped curtains. While it isn't reported where Anne Heche moved to after parting with all of these stunning properties, at least we were able to get a glimpse of her homes before she passed. All right, everyone, that's going to bring us to the end of this house tour. We send our condolences to Anne's loved ones after this unexpected tragedy, and feel free to leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and I'll see you all in another one. Bye.